Welcome to Storytime with Ms. Shante from Maynardville Public Library. I'm glad you joined us today. Today we are going to read a story called How Did I Catch a Unicorn? <gasps> Look, would you like to catch a unicorn too? And it's by Steve Herman. Oh, I always wanted to catch a unicorn. How about you? Let's see. I'm Allison McNeely, but since that's a lot to say, folks, just call me Allie, which is a better anyway. I can tell you something that you won't believe. I'll bet. Okay, here goes. I have a unicorn for a pet. A unicorn is not the sort of pet that you can buy. No, unicorn at the dog pounds. Hi, do you sell unicorns too? Sorry, we don't. Picking out unicorns is something one can't do. No, you must wait with patience for one to come to you. Don't expect a unicorn to walk right up to your door for waiting not enough. No, it takes something more. I can see that you are wondering, Allie, how'd you do it? Well, once you know the secret, there's really nothing to it. When will you show up? Um, About a year ago, listen closely, and I'll tell you how it came to be that a real live unicorn came to live with me. It was about a year ago. My attitude was bad. I wanted to be happy, but was always getting mad. Look! Okay. One day, I got angry with my little brother, Ben. He broke my favorite mermaid doll, and I yelled at him. And then, Mom put me in time out, which made me madder than before. I cried and stomped my foot, and I slammed my bedroom door. Bam! When we were at the store, I saw a doll I wish I had, but Dad couldn't buy it because I was acting so bad. I asked again and he said no. I threw another fit. Then I cried myself to sleep, but it didn't help a bit. Hey, Allie, can I borrow your pencil? Yeah! At school, I loaned my favorite pencil to my classmate, Tim. But Tim was careless and he lost it, and I was so mad at him. Oh, uh, I think I lost it. You better find my pencil. Or say you're sorry, Tim, I said, but Tim thought that was funny and stuck out his tongue instead. Nah. I got very mad and looked at Tim cross-eyed. My teacher, Miss Johnson, saw me do it and made me apologize. Apologize, but after that, for days and days, I wore my anger, f angry frown. My parents asked, Allie, don't you think it's time that you calm down? A magic unicorn. The next week was no better. Things went bad to worse. 
I was the most unhappiest child in all the universe. A magic unicorn, I said. I think that might be the key to take away my anger and bring happiness to me. The other children laughed and said, Allie, don't you know that unicorns are fairy tales? I knew better, though. I believed in unicorns. It seems I always knew that there is a magic in the world. Do you believe it too? I knew better though. There's magic in the world. But no one else believed. That made me even madder still. I continued feeling angry that whole day until later from my window I was looking out at night and I saw a flock of unicorns. Such a wondrous sight! A sparkling flock of unicorns beneath my apple tree. The stars were twinkling in my eyes as they looked back at me. Oh, how I wish to touch one! But much to my dismay, the unicorns took fright and they swiftly flew away. Oh, all those unicorns! At my window every day, I would watch and wait to see if the flock of unicorns might come back and visit me. Oh, could it be? As I stood glazing longily, I saw a rainbow's inn right in my backyard. Guess what then? Could it be? A unicorn came sliding down and much to my surprise, there stood a lovely unicorn right before my eyes. I tiptoed so softly, then stepped out my back door. But she did not run away like the unicorns before. <gasps> Do you see her? She's beautiful. Oh. Would you take me for a ride? I said, my name is Allie. Would you take me for a ride? But then I stepped up to pet her and she gently stepped aside. Why? I ask if I can't touch you, then why did you return? She said, because you needed me. There was something you must learn. There's something you must learn. My name is Dazzle Delight, she said. Friends call me Dazzle D. Pleased to meet you, I replied. Why have you come to visit me? Dazzle D said, Allie, you can see you've been upset. You've been angry for quite a while and haven't calmed down yet. And then I told my little brother Ben and things that had he done and how I got in trouble. I wasn't having fun. I told her of the kids at school and Mrs. Johnson too. No wonder. I'm mad, I said. That's a, what's a girl to do? Please help me with your magic. I'm so tired of being mad. But Dazzle D replied, Allie, you have always had the magic in yourself to make the anger go away. I'll tell you how to do it. Then you can start today. Allie, you have always had the magic to make the anger go away. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For instance, when you find yourself getting mad at Ben, before you start to yell at him, stop and count to ten. Can you count to ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, and when you want a toy, ask your dad how you could earn it. That's better than a tantrum, and it's time for you to learn it. Daddy, I really want that doll earlier. What can I do to earn it? Oh, that's such a better way of doing it, isn't it? Hi, Allie. Let's play together. Don't get caught up in the drama with the other kids at school. Remember why you're there. That will help you keep your cool. Sometimes make some things make us angry. But there's some things you should know. You can't let your anger linger. You must let your anger go. Hey, Allie, let's play together. Yes, I'd like that. I'm here to have fun. Be careful when you're angry of the things you do and say. Remember, it will pass and don't let it run your day. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Don't spend it being mad. When you are calm, when you'll return, Allie, you'll be glad. Really? The next day was raining when I wished to ride my bike. It was a most annoying. I couldn't do what I would like. Oh, no. Dazzle D said, remember? Hmm, but I remember all the things that Dazzle D had said to put a smile upon my face and read a book instead. Oh, that'll work. I'm sorry, it was an accident. Bad things are going to happen, and that is just a fact. I can't help what makes me mad, but I can change the way I act. Unicorns are not real. I shall calm down. It's okay to have different beliefs. Breathe. So I practiced Dazzle D's advice and saw that she was right. Guess who came to see me another moonlight night? What does she do to calm down? She counts to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, I feel much better. I ran to my backyard when I saw Dazzle D with a smile upon her face and waiting there for me. Ow! Oh. And when she saw how calm I had become, Dazzle D was proud. Do you still want to ride, she asked. Now you are allowed. Aww! And that's how I caught a unicorn. And now she's my best friend. If you'd like to catch one too, then I strongly recommend that you choose to take control over what you say and do. Only calm girls and boys can catch a unicorn. And if I can, so can you. Get your free gift from Dazzle at www.myunicornbooks.com backslash gift. <gasps> Dazzle D has a gift for you. Oh my goodness. 
Read more about Allie and Dazzle. How did I catch a unicorn? How a unicorn made me stop worrying. Oh, these are really good books. And I hope you enjoyed it. And come back and see us the next time. Have a great day. Bye.